In this tutorial, we will be looking at negative exponents. By now you should be fairly comfortable when you see an exponent. Here are some examples. But what does it mean when you have a negative exponent? I encourage you to pause the video for a moment and see what you think 3 to the power of negative 4 is. Here is a hint for you. We often think of a negative as being the opposite or reverse of something. Okay, now that you've had a chance to think about it, let's take a look at what it means. 3 to the power of 2. An exponent means we will be multiplying our base so we get 3 times 3, which is 9. Now let's look at 3 to the power of negative 2. A negative is often considered the opposite of something. What is the opposite of multiplying? Dividing. So our 3 to the power of negative 2 becomes 1 over 3 to the power of 2, which becomes 1 over 3 times 3, which is 1 over 9. Another way to describe what we are doing when we make a negative exponent positive is that we are taking the reciprocal of a number. The reciprocal of a number is when we take a number and then divide 1 by that number. When a negative exponent is involved, it becomes positive in this process. Now let's change things up a bit. Here we have 1 over 3 to the power of negative 4. I know. We just finished making exponents positive by moving them into the denominator and now I've put a negative exponent in the denominator. How do you think we'll solve this? Well, we flip it over the fraction line to make it positive. So now we have 3 to the power of 4, which is 81. Now some of you might be thinking that you caught me with a mistake. You might be thinking that I said when you have a negative exponent, you can make it positive by taking the reciprocal, which is done by dividing 1 by the number. How could that work with a negative exponent in the denominator, though? Remember that when you divide a number by a fraction, it can also be written as that number multiplied by the fraction's reciprocal. There is that word again, though you might not have learned it when you learned this trick. When dividing a number by a fraction, you flip it and then multiply by it to evaluate. So let's try that here. 1 over 5 to the power of negative 3. Now take the reciprocal of 5 to the power of negative 3 and we get 1 divided by 1 over 5 to the power of 3. We then flip this and multiply instead of dividing and you get 5 to the power of 3. Now we are going to do some examples. 3 to the power of negative 4. First, we take the reciprocal and get 1 over 3 to the power of 4. 3 to the power of 4 is 81. So we have 1 over 81. Now let's look at one that is a little more complicated. 4 to the power of negative 2 over 2 to the power of negative 3. Same rules apply, and we can flip them over the fraction line to make them positive, and now we have 2 to the power of 3 over 4 to the power of 2, which we can evaluate here. One more with x squared over 3 to the power of negative 2. Our power in the numerator is positive, so we can leave it there. Our denominator power is negative, so we can bring it up to the numerator to make it positive. So now we have 3 to the power of 2 multiplying x squared. Remember, when we have two terms touching like this, it is the same as if there is a multiplication sign between them. And we can evaluate this to get 9x squared. In this lesson, you learned that when you have a negative exponent, you can change it to a positive by taking the reciprocal, or in other words, flipping it over the fraction line. You learn that this applies when the negative exponent is in the numerator or the denominator. The final piece from today is that if there are positive and negative powers together, you only take the reciprocal of the negative power to make it positive.